Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video this week. As you can see, I'm in my bathroom currently. I just took a shower, so I'm a little glossy and it's a little hot in here. I also just did a crazy workout, so I'm a little shiny. But that is a great gateway into today's video. So today's video is going to be an updated skincare routine because I think the last time I did this was when I first started my channel. I didn't know really what I was doing with my skincare. Today I wanted to show you guys and share with you the skincare routine that literally, literally has changed my life. Also, I want to show you guys how I take care of my lash extensions. I wanted to save my, oh, one fell out. <laughs> I wanted to save my lash cleaning for this video. I always get questions about, oh, well, how do you wash them? How do you take care of it properly? And so today I'm going to show you guys in depth how I do everything. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. I'm just gonna first start off with just cleansing my face. So I use the Spectro face wash. I heard that gel washes are best for combination skin, which is what I have. I have a very oily T-zone, and then my cheeks and my chin get relatively dry in the winter especially, but because it's a summer, it hasn't been too bad. So gel cleansers are the best for that. But you can see that it is for combination skin, and I made sure of that because before, I think I was using a cleanser that just wasn't right for my skin at all, and I didn't really know what was in it. The fragrance was really strong as well, which is also a big no-no because I have very sensitive skin. So let's start with the face wash. According to wishtrend.com, although the foaming face wash is most effective in getting rid of excess oil and sebum, it can also leave your skin feeling tight and stretchy if you have dry and sensitive skin, like myself. Also notoriously known for its representative ingredient called sodium lauryl sulfate that causes skin irritation, foaming cleansers can easily irritate your skin and disturb the balance of your pH level. Gel cleansers, on the other hand, are water-based cleansers that consist of mild ingredients such as extract from flowers, tea tree oils, and essential oils. It is well used regardless of the skin type, however, it is mostly sought after among those with sensitive skin and acne-prone oily skin. So after I cleanse, I'm going to go in with Nizoral. So Nizoral has helped me so much um, with my fungal acne. Ketoconazole is found in Nizoral, which is actually an antifungal shampoo, but I use it on my forehead. It has been used by several dermatologists. It's an over-the-counter product. I got mine from Amazon. It's used to treat skin yeast, ringworm, jock itch, and athlete's foot, and any other fungi that irritates the surface of the skin. It has been used to treat candida as well. It is an anti-inflammatory, which helps reduce the inflammation on the skin. It can help with hair loss. Malassezia is a type of skin fungus on the face, but can be found in other parts of the body. It's found in dandruff, dermatitis, uh, rosacea, and rashes. So I had malassezia and I knew I did because the pimples on the middle of my eyebrows were kind of itchy and they were all relatively the same size. So I kind of ruled it out and thought, okay, yeah, I think I have malassezia. And lo and behold, I did and I got rid of it. So one thing that I did forget to mention is that this routine that I'm going to be showing you guys tonight or today, still during the day, is actually just a regimen that I do every one to two weeks because it is a, my in-depth um, routine so I'm, I don't do this every single night. Okay, so after I use the Nizoral, I'm actually gonna go and wash my lashes. Now this is something that a lot of my clients ask me on how to properly take care of your lashes and I will also be explaining why it's important to take care of your lashes. I know a lot of girls get scared of water getting on them, but it is so important to wash your lashes. Girls, ladies, even some men, if you are getting lash extensions, please wash your lashes. People have this weird misconception, but if you wash your lashes, it'll actually help it last longer. So it's important to wash your eyelash extensions because you can get this thing called blepharitis, which is inflammation of the eyelids. Blepharitis usually affects both of the eyes along the edges of the lids. Blepharitis commonly occurs when tiny oil glands near the base of the eyelashes become clogged. 
causing irritation and redness. So because on a day-to-day -day basis, you may sweat, you might not notice it, but it can collect and therefore you can get blepharitis. So some kind of symptoms, you get watery eyes, red eyes, a gritty burning or stinging sensation, eyelids can appear greasy, you can get itchy eyelids, red or swollen eyelids, flaking of the skin, crusted eyelashes, eyelids sticking, more frequent blinking, sensitivity to light and blurred vision. And then what happens is you can get these eyelash mites or lice, which are basically little bugs that um, multiply within your lashes. So please just wash your lashes. I like to get really thorough and kind of use my spoolie and really scrub in there and get those oils out and to make sure that there's no dead skin. Okay, so now you can see that they are wet. So usually to dry them, um, first I get a towel and I just gently blink into it like this. And this just kind of gets the excess water off and like uh, get most of it dry. It is a little bit of a mess, but it is so important. After I do that, I have my little fan that I use also on my clients and I just use it on myself to dry my lashes. Now, if you don't have a fan, don't worry about it. You can purchase one probably off of Walmart. I've seen them for a really good price. However, if you don't want to buy one, it's not that big of a deal. They can dry on their own. I still recommend using the towel lightly, but I just like to do this because I find that it makes them look neater. Okay, so now that I have washed my lashes. It is time to use my chemical peel to exfoliate my skin. So I actually used this product in that old video that I did when I first started my channel. And it's this Cure Purifying um, Aqua Gel. And this is that chemical peel that you can do at home. It just takes away all the dead skin. So you're supposed to do it on dry skin. I usually like to dampen my skin a little bit, but I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. So you can get this, I think, on Amazon, but I also got this in Japan. Cure Aqua Gel gently catches dead skin on the surface of the skin and removes them without using strong acids. It helps skin's metabolism function better. That's why it's used for anti-aging, brightening, and it smooths out the skin. I like to use the Cure Aqua Gel before I apply any serums or moisturizers because when you remove the dead skin, it allows the nutrients and the minerals from these other serums to help absorb into your skin and it is a lot more effective when trying to reach optimal results with the different products that you use in your nightly and daily skin regimens. So I'm just going to rinse this off now, but I can already feel like all that little dead skin that was there. Okay, so let me go rinse this off. So after I do that, um, I'm actually going to use a clay mask. So because I was having that fungal acne on my forehead, I also read that clay masks can help minimize that. But between my eyebrows has never ever been smooth. So I actually got this um, at a pop-up shop for the drug the drugstore that is here in Canada, Shop at Drug Mart. It was at Sherway and I grabbed like three bags. Yeah, this clay mask definitely helps. During the winter, I do like to use hydrating sheet masks rather than clay masks because in the winter my skin's a lot drier. Because we're in the summertime, I'm going to use the clay masks on my forehead especially. For the clay masks, I only apply this on my forehead and my nose because everywhere else is already extremely dry, so I just focus on the oily parts. Okay, so with this clay mask on, I'm actually gonna go wait 10 minutes, and then after 10 minutes, I'm gonna come back and then I will take it off. Okay, so it has been 10 minutes and the mask becomes see-through after so I usually like to use a cloth to take this off just because it is a clay mask and it's a little bit harder to just use my hand so I use um, cold water to take off everything that is that goes on my face because using cold water apparently is more beneficial for your skin Okay, so now that the clay mask is now off, you can see how shiny it is. Right now, my skin is already looking shiny, getting excited, but we're not done here. Not yet, but we're close. This is the next step that I do, which is my pore flush. 
Again, this is The Ordinary. I love this brand. It's my favorite or it's actually the, um, I think this is a different, the, a different line from The Ordinary, from the um, Abnormal Beauty Company, but it's all on the same website. You can buy them. I like this brand because this brand doesn't focus so much on their packaging and their branding. They focus more on the ingredients that go inside of these products, which make it a lot more affordable and they have less chem extra chemicals because it's hard to find a good skin a good skincare line that is affordable but is also really effective and it's really science-based which I love. Because I have lash extensions, I don't spray it all over my face like this. I actually put it on my hand, give it two sprays, I go like this and I just gently put it on my face like this. And I try to get my nose because it is a pore flush. The pore flush product is formulated with bioderivatives of Buchu and Brightward in a base of a natural marine polymer. Polymer is a chemical compound with molecules bonded together in long repeating chains. Because of their structure, polymers have unique properties that can be tailored for different use. They are both man-made and naturally occurring. Brightward Bioderivatives is a biotechnology derivative that acts as a solubilizer for congestion within the pores to flush them out. The name of the product is actually inspired by the pore flushing activity by this technology. Buchu Bioderivatives help reduce a visible sebum accumulation within the pores which can cause pores to appear enlarged. Natural marine polymers forms a natural non-clogging marine derived film to tighten the pores immediately and visibly reduce sebum even further through a different pathway that is offered by other technologies within a formula. Okay, so the next thing that I like to do is go in with a toner. So this is actually the toner I used to use, but now, oh my gosh, but now I um, have replaced the inside with just a generic toner. I just like the bottle of this because it's small and it doesn't take us take up much room. Okay, so after that, I go in with my niacinamide. So this is a product that I discovered from Hiram watching his videos. I love niacinamide. It has so many benefits. So I actually like to put a generous amount on. So I go. Neocytamide 10% and zinc 1% is good for all skin types. It reduces the appearance of skin blemishes and signs of congestions. It brightens skin tone, helps with rosacea, eczema, and acne. Helps build keratin, which is a type of protein that keeps your skin healthy and firm. It can grow a ceramide, which is a lipid barrier, which can, in turn, help retain moisture, keeping your skin hydrated. Minimizes pore appearance. If the skin is properly hydrated and smooth, you will see a decline in pore appearance. It regulates oil by regulating the amount of oil in the sebaceous glands that they produce and prevent your glands from going into overdrive. It protects against sun damage. It can help rebuild healthy skin cells while protecting the damage from UV rays. It treats hyperpigmentation. Uh, research has shown that it helps lighten up the dark spots. Benefits are seen in four weeks, but not beyond two months. It could be because of the collagen productions. It reduces fine line and aging. It protects against oxidative stress, such as sunlight, pollution, and toxins. So after niacinamide, my face is now glowing. It is so hydrated. I just get this nice dewy glow. So then I go in with my caffeine solution, also from The Ordinary. I bought this when I bought niacinamide and together it only came up to $19.99 or something. So basically like 20 bucks, which is great. Epigallocatechin gallate with caffeine solution at 5% is good for all skin types. It's also known as EGCG. It also reduces the look of puffiness and dark circles underneath the eyes. EGCG caffeine solution is an oily textured formula containing a high 5% concentration of caffeine supplemented with a purified epigallocatechin galatal glucose from green tea leaves. Epigallocatechin gallate glucose is the bioengineered version of the green tea polyphenol EGCG. EGCG attached to a glucose molecule. Additional studies have shown that this can also help reduce the appearance of cellulite, inflammation, and can help reduce the risk of brain and heart disease. I have noticed by using this product that the puffiness under my eyes have gone down significantly. I really, really stand by this product. So after I use the caffeine solution, I'm gonna go in with the cream from the same brand. There's no extra sense to it. It's great for sensitive skin. 
I love it and this has this little tube here has lasted me a while because a little does go a long way for this product. Natural moisturizing factors plus HA keep the outer layer of the skin protected and well hydrated and many other compounds that are found naturally in skin are used to make this product. And now my face is all dewy but all ready for the night. It's looking really nice. I'll show you in more of like a natural room light as well because I'm in the bathroom right now. See, as you can see, it's very, very glowy. I've just never had skin so smooth on my forehead before. My forehead always has had those little textured bumps on it, but they are completely gone now. All right, guys, so that concludes my nightly skincare routine or updated skincare routine that I haven't done in a while. Now, this is what I do before bed. My mom always says that skincare isn't about fixing what you currently have but also for preventing aging and wrinkles and all that in the future and any skin damage so i also feel like it makes my face look a little bit more slender if you know what i mean anyway guys thank you again for watching i appreciate it if you are new here please subscribe to my channel if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you guys have any suggestions or like this skincare routine or you have any questions leave a comment down below and i'll definitely respond right away or as fast as i can all right guys thanks so much and i will see you guys next sunday subscribe